Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now celebrating 17 years of broadcasting success, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again, both for our radio audience here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com. We welcome you all to our broadcast. Also, just tuning in through our online affiliates around the world, including our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcasts. We're glad you all could be with us as well. Well, May is recognized as a lot of things, one of them being Better Hearing and Speech Month, and with good reason. Hearing loss is the third most common chronic health condition found in older adults, and according to a new survey by YouGov that was commissioned by an association that you guys have probably heard about, the American Speech Language Hearing Association, it is an issue that is definitely being undertreated. We're here to talk to us more about the survey as well as the early signs of hearing loss. We're excited to welcome two very special guests, Dr. Lynn Williams as well as Dr. Valeria roberts Medlock, to talk to us about what you all need to know about this important topic and where you can get more information. Thanks to the two of you for being on with us. Really appreciate the time. Thank you, Cyrus. So, Dr. Thank Williams, you, Cyrus. I'm going to start with we're, we're excited to be with you. Oh, the pleasure is definitely all mine. Dr. Williams, I'm going to start with you. I mean, the the association, the American Speech Language Hearing Association, was the one who commissioned this new survey. What were some of the findings that you all thought were, were, were something that our audience should know about? Yes, thank you. Well, we surveyed about 2,500 Americans, 18 years and older, and we asked them about their hearing health and their attitudes towards it. And the good news is that 80% of Americans say that maintaining their hearing health is extremely or very important to their quality of life. However, not many are taking action on their hearing loss, and they indicated that they wouldn't until they thought it was more severe. Well, I think this is an interesting topic, especially after the last year we've had, uh, where you know we we did we put off a lot of things, including unfortunately doctor visits and seeing about things like this. Dr. Matlock, I want to go to you. How many Americans are living with hearing loss, and why do you think so few are seeking treatment? Well, about 28 million adults are living with hearing loss, and again, like what Dr. Williams said, most um, individuals are waiting until their hearing becomes more severe. There are also barriers to services that are um, that individuals perceive, such as cost concerns of cost of treatment and insurance concerns. Dr. Williams, I mentioned the pandemic and, of course, the impact it's had on us all. Have, have you all found with the association that the pandemic had an impact on those living with hearing loss or even their diagnosis? Absolutely, and I've even experienced that in my university with um, some of our faculty who have hearing loss and wear hearing aids, that it was more challenging for them to hear. Um, so you, you have the mask wearing, you have the physical distancing, and then our work and even our social life has been largely on video calls. So the poll found that 60% of Americans either personally experienced hearing loss or noticed that others were having hearing difficulties during this pandemic. So the pandemic has shed light on hearing for those who thought they were getting by and they realized, no, I really am having difficulty. So about a third of those who experienced hearing difficulties with the physical distancing, the mask wearing, or the video calls, that it made them more likely to seek treatment for hearing issues. That's something. So I guess we need to talk about what our audience should be on the lookout for. Dr. Metlock, I want to go back to you. What are some of the early warning signs that our audience should know about? And and then if they feel like this is something they're dealing with, who should they contact? Well, some of the early um, signs are having difficulty hearing a noise, asking others to repeat often, or maybe listening to the television a tad louder than others uh, prefer in the room. What individuals should do, should they experience any of those symptoms, is to um, contact an ASHA-certified audiologist. And we're going to be letting our audience know where they can get more information. Dr. Williams, I want to go back to you. I mean, how serious of a problem is untreated hearing loss? You mentioned, of course, those who have been hesitant. And what are the consequences of not getting the proper treatment for this? 
Well, interestingly, on our polls, um, the people recognize the consequences of untreated hearing loss. Um, over a third reported that uh, concern that hearing difficulties could hurt their ability to remain employed. And just a little less than half said they worried that hearing difficulties would reduce their on-the-job effectiveness. Um, so it, it has some, some real immediate consequences, but there are also other consequences that you may not think about. If you have hearing loss, it could also impact your balance, and so that's why the risk of falls is greater with those individuals who do have hearing loss. Well, it's, it's a lot of great information in, in this survey but for YouGov that you all had commissioned, and I think one of the things that stood out to me was one of the notes was, Roughly half of American adults experience some degree of hearing difficulty, but only 11% of those uh, with those difficulties have been treated uh, for their hearing loss. And it really shows uh, the big discrepancy there and why this is so important. Really appreciate you all coming on as we are trying to raise awareness during Better Hearing and Speech Month. Uh, Dr. Uh, Metlock, I want to wrap up with you. Where can our audience go for more information and to find out where they can be able to get some information? Thank you for asking, Cyrus. They can visit www.actonhearingnow.com for more information and to find an ASHA certified audiologist locally. And we're going to be making sure that we link that up for our audience. Again, everyone, Dr. Lynn Williams and Dr. Valeria Roberts Medlock, thanks to the two of you for joining us on the American Sign Language Hearing Association and looking forward to having the two of you back on our program again. Thank you so much, Cyrus. We appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate the information for our audience, and we thank you, our audience, for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now let's go make today amazing. Take care.